Guys, uh, recently someone has asked me uh, saying like, uh, dude, why you are creating these videos? Why you are spending your time creating these videos? Whereas there are a lot of other videos which are already available on the internet on the same topic or similar topic. So he's one of my friend and out of curiosity, he asked that question to me. And uh, we had a around 30, 40 minutes of conversation on the same topic with him. But I thought to have a small video on the same topic so that I can share these pointers with you all. Guys, if you are following my videos, if you have subscribed to my channel, then you must be knowing that all those videos which I am sharing are very important for, from the interview point of view, right? So that is the one thing that is very clear. Uh, there are three other points which uh, I thought to share. One is all those topics are coming out of my personal experience. So when I was upskilling myself, when I was learning Java or when I started working with a bit, at that time there were a lot of questions uh, for which I was not getting an answer. I was not getting a clear answer. So information was available in a bits and pieces on the internet, but it, I was not able to draw any flow out of that. You know, everything was not clear to me. So over the time as and when I spend more time working on those tools and technology, so now uh, I have a clear understanding of those topics and uh, recently I have started my YouTube channel and uh, sharing all those topics with you all. So all those points, all those topics which I am sharing on YouTube channel are coming out of my personal experience, my curiosity uh, which I developed when I started working with all those tools. The next point is all those videos which I am sharing, all those topics which I am sharing on my YouTube channel are not a regular topic. So what I mean by not a regular topic? Let me explain this with the help of example. Recently I shared one video where I discussed how git branch command work technically. What exactly happens behind the scene when we execute git branch command on the console. So we all know like when we execute git branch then we get a list of branches right available on that repository. But what exactly happens behind the scene from where it pull out all the information? What is the complete flow of it? So in that video, I have discussed the complete flow, which I think is not available somewhere on the internet. So in that video, I have explained complete flow, how git branch command works and all other concept and the uh, technicality uh, around that. If you will search for this topic on the internet, then you will get the information in a bits and pieces. So I collected all the information plus my personal experience, my understanding and I created that video. So that's why I'm saying the topics and the videos which I'm sharing are not uh, regular videos. If you carefully observe then you will understand the topics which I'm sharing are little different than usual videos which are already available on the internet. My last point is focusing on the concept. In almost all of my videos, my main focus is to talk about the concept. My purpose is not to talk about how git branch command works, how do we execute and what we get out of that. Right? My focus is what is the concept around that? What is the use of dot git folder? If you talk about Java, then also you will see different topics, different videos which I have already covered. For example, why we should not call static members using object reference? What is the problem? What will happen if you call? Right. So there are a lot of concepts involved around all these topics and which I am trying my best to share my experience so that you all can understand and learn it. And I'm repeating one, one point which I have already covered is all those topics are very, very important from the interview point of view as well. So these were the few points which I thought to share with you all. So if you also had the same question like why I am creating these and why I am sharing the same videos then I hope it is clear to you now and uh, yeah, please do watch the videos. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, in coming days you will see lot many other concept and uh, uh, learning and tips from my side as per my experience. So, Alright guys, thank you for watching this. Thank you.